Hi, my name is Robert Lee and the main goal of this video series is to provide beginners with basic LoRa and LoRaWAN knowledge. For educational purpose, I try to simplify things, but do not expect an in-depth explanation of each subject matter. I am focusing on the concept and not the details. In this first tutorial, I will explain why LoRa is used in IoT projects. The Internet of Things, or IoT, is a network of physical devices that are connected to the Internet and are able to talk to each other. The prediction is that by 2020 there will be over 25 billion devices connected to the Internet. There are many wireless technologies you can use to connect these devices to the Internet, such as short-range wireless communication, cellular communication, or LP-WAN communication. In this video series, I will be using equations and other information taken from several sources. In my presentations, these sources are referenced by a label, starting with a square bracket, a reference number, and closed by square brackets. For this video series, I will be using these references. And also this reference. All my presentations used in this video series can be found at this location. LPWAN stands for Low Power Wide Area Network and this type of wireless communication is designed for sending small data packages over long distances operating on a battery. There are a number of competing technologies in the LPWAN space such as Narrowband IoT, Sigfox, LoRa and others. As you can see in this picture, LPWAN is located in this area, cellular communication is located in this area, and the short-range wireless communication is located in this area. LoRa is located here. As you can see, long distance and sending small data packages. In this video series, I will only be focusing on LoRa. To give you an idea how these wireless technologies compare to each other, here is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 3G and 4G, and LoRa. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi have clearly short ranges compared to cellular and LPWAN. But as you can clearly see, cellular uses a lot of transmission power compared to LoRa. LoRa cannot be used to send video or audio messages. You can only use LoRa to send very small data packages, such as sensor data, for example, temperature data, humidity data, etc. The main selling point of LoRa is long distance and using a very low transmission power, average 20 milliwatts. The LoRa wireless technology was developed by a French startup company, Ciclio, which developed the LoRa modulation technology. In 2012, the Semtech Corporation acquired Ciclio. The LoRa radio and modulation part is patented and its source is closed. Semtech has licensed its LoRa intellectual property to other chip manufacturers such as Hope RF, Microchip, Dorji, etc. The word LoRa is a trademark of Semtech Corporation filed in 2015. More information about Semtech can be found at this location. The range between LoRa sender and receiver depends on the environment the equipment operates in. Indoor coverage largely depends on the type of building material used. To give you an indication, urban areas, the range is between 2 to 5 kilometers, rural areas, 5 to 15 kilometers, and if there are no obstacles and you have direct line of sight, you can achieve a distance of greater than 15 kilometers. But please note, these ranges can only be achieved if certain conditions are met. What these conditions are will be explained in detail later in this video series. But here are some notable records, Andreas Peace, a fellow YouTuber and known as man with a Swiss accent has conducted an experiment and he achieved a LoRa ground-to-ground -ground connection over a distance of 212 kilometers. Another team also created another record whereby a LoRa sender is connected to a weather balloon. Several LoRa receivers on the ground detected the signal. At a distance of 702 kilometers, a receiver was able to detect the signal. These records can only be achieved if there is direct line of sight and there are no obstacles within the Fresnel zone, which I will explain what it is later in this video series. 
Here are a few use cases using LoRa technology. I have created five categories, smart utilities, health and hygiene, safety, efficiency, and agriculture. And for each category, you will find a few use cases. In the category smart utilities, you can use the LoRa technology in power transformer monitoring, water level monitoring, utility meter, and fuel monitoring. With fuel monitoring, I mean monitoring fuel levels in fuel tanks for heating houses. In the category health and hygiene, temperature and humidity monitoring, environmental monitoring, and waste management, meaning monitoring waste levels in waste bins. In the category safety, smart lightning, water level monitoring, radioactivity level monitoring, and dike monitoring, for example, to prevent peat dikes from drying out. This can be applied, for example, in the Netherlands, where we have a lot of peat dikes. In the category efficiency, we have asset management and fleet management. For example, tracking cars, fans, and trucks. And the last category, agriculture, monitoring animal welfare and monitoring plant growing conditions. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.